Hey, this is Jack at Anatomy Zone, and in this tutorial, we're going to go through the subscapularis muscle. So the subscapularis muscle is one of the four muscles which make up the rotator cuff, and they're found beneath the more powerful superficial shoulder muscles, as you can see here. And the subscapularis is on the front of the anterior aspect of the scapula. It's the strongest rotator cuff muscle, accounting for about 50% of the power output of the entire rotator cuff. So the subscapularis originates from the subscapular fossa, which you can see here. It then moves around the front of the scapula to insert on the lesser tubercle of the humerus. And just as a side note here, it's the only rotator cuff muscle to insert on the lesser tubercle as the other three insert on the greater tubercle. It acts with the other rotator cuff muscles, as they all do, to provide dynamic stability at the shoulder joint when you're moving your arm, but individually when it contracts, it medially rotates our humerus. In terms of its nerve supply, it's innervated by the upper and lower subscapular nerves. So here on screen you can see a picture of the brachial plexus. And the posterior cord of the brachial plexus gives off the superior or upper subscapular nerve, which you can see here. And that supplies the upper portion of the subscapularis muscle. And that posterior cord also gives rise to the inferior or lower subscapular nerve, as you can see here. And that obviously therefore supplies the lower portion of the subscapularis. In terms of the vascular supply in this region, it receives its arterial blood from the sub scapular artery. So the subscapular artery arises from the axillary artery. But if you want to be really exact, there's actually two branches that the subscapular artery gives off. The thoracodorsal artery and the circumflex scapular artery. And it's that circumflex scapular artery which is supplying the subscapularis muscle along with several of other muscles within the shoulder region. So that's everything that we wanted to go through in the subscapularis muscle. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please give us a like. And for more, make sure you subscribe to Anatomy Zone. The 3D models using this tutorial were powered by the amazing and free Anatomy Learning app. Go check it out for yourself at anatomylearning.com.